Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning. Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic Friday Eve, guys. Let's end this week off with a bang. Uh, it's it's Thursday. Honestly, my favorite day of the week because you know Friday. We 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 Friday gets here. We're excited. We're glad for the weekend. But Thursday, Friday Eve, this is when I really get excited because I know uh, weekend is here. We can do what we want to do. We don't have to worry about the job. We we, we just Worry about the weekend and doing what we need to do for our business, for our family, and for our lives, right? But let's talk about growth. Growth, guys. Are you growing every day, all right? In this business and what we do and what we're trying to do with our family, our lives, and our community, growth is a must. We have to grow. And I know it's, it's hard. I know it's a challenge to grow because we hear people say all the time, you act different. You're different. You change. You've changed. And most times we take offense to when people say to us that we've changed. Because most of the time they're trying to be funny. And like, no, yo, yeah, actually I have changed. I'm not the same Tobias I was when I was 30, right? I'm not the same Tobias I was when I was 20 in college. No, I, I hope <laughs> over the last 20 years since I left college, I'm not the same immature guy I was back then, right? The same mistakes that you make at 30, right? You you want you don't want to make the same mistakes at 40. So change is 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 intentional. Most people don't get, uh, most people don't get the success that they want out of life because they are too afraid to change. They want to be the same person that they are that they were when they were in high school, the same person that they were when they were in college, the same person they were when they were in their twenties. No, you have to grow. You have to change. That's a part of life, and that's a part of business success. And that's what we're focusing on is business success. So principles of self improvement. Number one, choose to choose a life of growth. Every day, we have to choose that life of growth. We have to make a conscious decision that I'm going to get better in whatever it is that I'm doing. I'm going to be the best at whatever it is that I'm doing, right? So we have to choose that. No matter what our circumstances currently are, we know that every day we can get a little better. Number two, start growing today, right? Got it. It doesn't matter where you woke up this morning, if whatever's going on in your life, whatever challenges there are, start today. Because growth is not automatic. Growth today will provide for a better tomorrow. And growth at the end of the day is your responsibility. When we were kids, the responsibility lied on our parents. We get we oh it's it's on the education came from our parents. How we live life was determined by our parents. But now as an adult, as adults, we need to make take responsibility for our life. Right, we don't have to stay where we at. We don't. We don't have to stay stagnant. Right. So three, we're gonna focus on self development and not self fulfillment. Right. Because self fulfillment again goes back to our feelings. We want to feel good. We want to have this euphoric butterflies all the time. And that's that's not it. Right. Self development pushes us towards our calling. Whatever that is. Whatever your calling is. Whatever, whatever you see upon your life and what you want to do and what you want to give back to this world, self-development focuses you towards your destiny. doesn't matter how you feel. doesn't matter if you wake up in the morning and you really don't feel like, for example, <laughs> doing a call. For example, showing the plan. For example, going out and, te and teaching somebody the high-frequency skills. Whatever it is, you may not feel like doing it, but doing it every day, being consistent, pushes you towards your destiny. You want to make sure you're going towards your destiny, right? Number four, never stay satisfied with your current accomplishments. I don't care how great they are. The best example I had of ha have of this is I remember the day when David Monizia hit Chairman 750. And he did a call. <laughs> like, he did blitz calls. I'm sitting there thinking to myself, the day I hit Chairman 750, man, I'm hopping on a plane. Me and me, we going somewhere. I don't know where, but we, but he did some calls. I'm sure he had, he, I'm sure he enjoyed it. He had a celebration somewhere private or whatever he did, but 
I'm thinking to myself, he's not even basking in the glow of Chairman 750, right? He's thinking about Chairman 1 million. He's thinking about Believe Nation. He's thinking about putting in the work to fulfill his destiny, right? So we can't be satisfied with whatever we have accomplished today. We got to think about the future and what our destiny holds. Five, be a continual learner. Learning something. Learning whatever the skills you need to improve yourself. Whatever, you, whatever you've chosen, whatever path you've chosen, every single day, read, reading something, listen to some audios. Do different things to make sure you're learning every single day. You must have a plan. Step six, have a plan for growth, right? So is it a book a month? Is it a couple books a month? What types of books are you going to read, right? What types of magazines can you have so you can have something on hand when you're, when you're just kind of out and about? You have some downtime. You can read about whatever industry or whatever you want to learn about, right? Audio books. That's my favorite way of learning is constantly listening to audio books, right? We want, you, trap music is great. Rap music is great. But we can't get bogged down and inundated with that all the time. Put your headphones on and listen to some type of audio to help you learn. Seven, pay the price. Guys, growth is uncomfortable. It is. It's uncomfortable, right? We have to cut off some people sometimes. It takes discipline, like getting up going at 3.30, going to the gym. It takes discipline, right? It takes away from leisure activities, some things that we, we used to want to do all the time. You can't really do that much, right? It costs money, <laughs> And, of course, it, it takes risk. And finally, yes, it can be lonely on this stretch of entrepreneurship, leadership, business development. It can be lonely because a lot of people may not see your vision and might not buy in in the beginning. But you have to continue to do it, right? Eight, find a way to apply what you learn. Guys, knowledge is not power. Knowledge is not power, right? Applied knowledge is power. Too many times we get caught up in our industry, in our business, and we watch. We get on all the calls. We read the books. We listen to the audios. We have all the knowledge, all the knowledge we need to be successful, but we don't take any action. We have to take action on the information, on the knowledge we have. Whether it's in trading, if you take, if you've been through the academy, and you you know what you're doing, whether it's forex, high frequency cryptocurrency, you got to take action on that knowledge. Whether it's learning about the industry of network marketing, right? You know all the ins and outs. You know the tricks. You do, you, you know this. You know that. You got to take action. None of that knowledge is relevant unless you take action that's going to push you towards your destiny and push you towards your growth guys so we got it getting on this growth happy friday eve guys appreciate you guys hopping on tobias carter here again aka mr standing your greatness guys oh man happy friday eve can't wait heading out of time this weekend hope you guys have a blessed weekend guys see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded dl woods this your this your uh second time and we never look down on anybody unless we reach out and help pull them up, guys. Let's go.